Good morning, I'm Grace Lee. Let's get your top stories. A luxury yacht that was stuck in Maui's Honolulu Bay for almost two weeks has finally been freed. But this morning, the yacht named Nakoa is at the bottom of the ocean after taking on water and sinking. We'll explain that in a minute. But first, here's the moment that the ship was freed from the rocky shoreline yesterday. You can hear the crunching of the hull as the tugboat is pulled the yacht 90 degrees off the rocks and into deeper water. As Nicole is being towed away, you see it listing to the right. The bottom appears to be sinking. Now, crews were hoping to tow this yacht to Honolulu, but officials say they had to let the ship sink yesterday afternoon in about 800 feet of water. We're told Nakoa had several holes in its hull after bouncing around on the rocks in the surf for days. The environmental impact of this sinking is still not clear, but before the ship was towed out, crews removed all the fuel and other hazardous materials on board. We are waiting to hear from the DLNR on what will happen to this sunken yacht. As for the operation to remove it from Honolulu Bay, the initial cost estimate was $460,000. The state says it will, quote, aggressively pursue recouping all salvage costs from the owner, in addition to the cost to repair damage to coral reefs and live rock. Hawaii County Police are investigating a retail store theft in Ke'ao last month. Police say that on Friday, February 17th, around 7.15 p.m., this man is believed to have taken items from a business on Old Volcano Road. He is described to be possibly in his 20s with a thin build and dark-colored hair. Anyone with information is urged to call Hawaii Police. Guy? Grace, you're tracking two cold fronts They're expected to bring in some changes. First of all, this front, which is over Kauai and Oahu now, will bring in scattered showers today. Then that other front to the northwest, that's going to bring in more scattered showers uh, probably tomorrow night and gusty winds on Wednesday. So you can see those showers already affecting Kauai and Oahu, and those winds are going to be shifting to the west today. So that's what we're dealing with today, cloudier skies, more scattered showers, and some of them could be heavy at times. So if you live in a flood-prone area, Take precautions before the rain really starts to come down.